guys, so today I want to talk to you about my honest experience with hair extensions, hair growth, bad hair experiences. I feel like this is something I really need to talk about. I've done quite a lot of blog posts about it but I've never discussed this on YouTube and I really think this might help a lot of people. So first of all, when I was probably 14 I started wearing hair extensions and I'd worn, I'd wear clip-ins, I would wear actual like bonded extensions, all of them. I've tried all of the extensions you can possibly imagine. I guess I was just addicted to having long hair, it made me feel ridiculously confident. Yeah, and it, it definitely was like a shield. And trust me, when I got that taken away from me, I lacked confidence so, so, so much. So here is my hair extension story. So I used to always get the hair extensions that you kind of bought, sew together and put the clips on. And they actually looked really good. I kind of got to that stage. I'll try to leave pictures and stuff so you can see. But I got to that stage where I was so addicted to hair extensions that I could always tell when someone was wearing hair extensions. And I was like literally addicted. Clip-ins, I was always like, they do not damage my hair at all because they're clip-ins. But firstly, I think they do actually become addictive. I was literally addicted to my clip-ins to the point where my natural hair wasn't bad. But because I was so used to having these long luscious locks when I took them out, it felt so weak and thin and horrible and scrawny in comparison to all of this fake hair that it made me self-conscious about my normal hair. So you kind of have to give yourself time away from them to realise that your actual hair is absolutely fine. Also, clip-in extensions are bad for you. Number one, they weigh. It's the weight. They are genuinely really heavy, which then tugs on the hair. So like these bits here, it's weak and it would really tug on them and I was left with ball patches there, but we'll talk about that soon. Um, and then also, yeah, so the weight does that and then the clips are really bad for your hair. And I've had like the most expensive extensions, the cheapest extensions, everyone you can imagine, but you cannot stop that weight on your hair. So it's the weight that kind of really does damage the hair. And I even got one of those like wire ones once, but you still did need to put clips here because they didn't, it didn't go all the way to here. So I have really tried absolutely everything you can imagine. I actually used to sleep in clippings sometimes because my ex-boyfriend used to make me feel so bad about myself that he hated me with short hair, so I had to sleep in clippings. Uh uh uh. Basically ruined my hair. I talk about how to ruin your hair. Um, so then I got to university and I got bonded extensions, and these were like actually bonded extensions stuck into my hair, and they looked absolutely incredible. I've never been happier. Well, looking back now, they were way too blonde, so don't judge me. It was back in the day, but they looked good in terms of like length. And I just really, really liked them. I was really happy with them back then. But they still really damaged my hair because they were bonded to my hair and like glued. I could not get them out of my hair. So even though I'd like run my fingers through every night and kind of like try and keep them as neat as possible, they still did get ridiculously matted in my hair. So I had to get someone to take them out with acetone and GHGs and literally burn them out of my hair. When they eventually got out of my hair, my mum sat for hours like combing my hair through gently with like a knit comb. I was left with literally no hair. I had like one strand and obviously the bleach did contribute towards this as well but I had like one strand of hair left. I was absolutely distraught. I literally looked disgusting. My scalp was in agony. It was really weak here. So I spoke to hairdressers and they were like, yeah, you've probably given yourself reactive alopecia because your hair is just not going to grow back now. Like, you have made this happen by wearing extensions for too long, never giving your hair a chance to breathe. I mean, I actually think if you're going to wear extensions all the time and you do take them out, give your hair a chance to breathe and you're really strict with your maintenance, I mean bonded ones, Jesus, if I ever had them now, I'd get them like redone every six weeks or something. They just matted it on all of my hair, completely ruined it, like absolutely destroyed it. And these were ridiculously expensive bonded extensions too, by like a celebrity hairdresser. And I'm not saying it's her fault, I think just bonded extensions, you are gluing something to your hair. They just didn't slide out, they literally like had to be burnt out of my hair. So my hair journey from there it has literally taken me years and years and years. My hair's still not where I want it to be, but now to me this is a lot of hair, like I have thick hair. This is like, for me, I'm like, oh my god, I can't believe I have hair, because looking at back at past pictures, I just had like a ball of fluff. It was disgusting. I had absolutely no confidence for years and years and years. I'd, basically, when it first happened, I wore my hair, just kind of clipped it up, and I clipped it up for a year, because my hairdresser was like, you're just going to have to chop everything off that you have, start from fresh, and that's what I did. It was an absolute disaster. I just wanted to put my hair down, and I couldn't, so I had my hair up pretty much every day for a year, did not use heat on it for a year. And we're talking like four years on now, this is where we're at. So I go to Sassoon and I go to someone called Lee to cut it. He is 
incredible. He used to work at the Leeds Salon, now he works in Manchester. And I started going to him about a year ago. And when I first walked in, he looked at my hair and he was like... And to be honest, like, it was from going to kind of a mixture of like, some of the hairdressers were good, some of them were bad, some of them did bad bleach jobs, some of them did good bleach jobs, with the extensions as well. And he just took one look at my hair and was like, we're going to start from scratch. And I was like, oh my god. I mean, as a female, I feel like my hair is just my like shield. And I was devastated when he literally cut everything off. But I really trusted him. So I worked with him and every single four weeks I'd go back. And a lot of people are like, oh my god. I've done so much research on hair growth. And the most important thing is to treat your hair like a bed of soil, like a garden. When the weeds come, you need to cut them. And it is such a myth that keeping your hair and letting it grow long um, is the way to grow it because then it's growing and it's growing back weak. It's just common knowledge that if something's dead, it's better to cut it off and then let it grow back stronger and longer. And then it is getting longer, whereas if not, you're just going to have like those weak bits at the end. Like I know a lot of people that never ever get their hair cut, but it is all kind of like dead at the ends. Whereas if you just get regular trims, then it's going to be better. So I started treating my hair like a flower bed or like a piece of silk. So I'd barely use heat on it. I'd always use heat protection. And I was just very gentle and careful with my hair. So Lee would cut my hair every single four weeks and he'd go with like the growing patterns. And honestly, I'm so happy with my hair now. Like we're still working to grow, but the good thing is my hair is out of the damage stage and it is growing. So product wise, I've done so many blog posts about my favorite products and I'll link them all below. But I actually didn't realize you can put too much protein onto your hair, I had no idea. So it's really good to go to a really good hairdresser and talk to them about this. I'm so strict with hairdressers now, I kind of stick to someone that I really trust, like Lee, because of really bad experience I, experiences I have had in the past. Um, and Lee is just so freaking brilliant. So my favourite products at the moment, I use one by Kerastast, which is their thermal protector. It's in a silver bottle, I'll link it below. And it's amazing. It's like a cream that you put on your hair before you blow dry it. And I think it means that your hair um, it's protected from heat for like 48 hours or something, which is amazing. It's in my gym bag all the time. I also love Kiehl's because their hair products are natural, so I know that they're like really good to my hair. I love Aveda as well because they're a really good natural brand. Sassoon also do really good like treatments and stuff for coloured hair. So I kind of thought, oh my god, I'm never going to be able to bleach my hair again. But I can, like it's blonde and I could go blonder, but I just don't want to go like super blonde. But we're in the stage now where my hair is growing and I feel so much more confident, so much more happy. I'm totally over the whole needing to have hair down to my bum anyway. I do kind of like this length anyway, so I'm happy with it. And I use heat on it now. But yeah, I guess I just wanted to share my story with you. I'd be really interested to know if you guys have had any experiences with hair extensions, heat protection. I'd love to know your stories because, I mean... I really struggled with confidence for a long time. I felt so shitty and I'd see like girls with amazingly long hair and it just made me feel so crap. It's funny because it is one of those things that really can destroy your confidence. My mum's always said you should pay for a good hairdresser because it is something that people see every single day. So I'm really glad I kind of got out of the phase of feeling like I needed long hair and I was strict with myself. I banned myself from extensions. Actually, my hairdresser before Lee, she's great, Jade, she was like, you are banned from extensions, you are not going near them. Um, and she's, so, I'm so glad she said that to me because she was the one that was like, you are like, I will literally never speak to you again if you put hair extensions in. Because everyone knew how much kind of turmoil and trauma it caused my scalp. So yeah, let me know if you've been through anything similar. Let me know if you are extensions and if you let your hair breathe. Let's just chat, tell me your favourite hair products too. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks for watching.